Amen. Grace and peace to you and welcome to this uh, most special and holy and divine and beautiful service of lessons and carols. Uh, we come together uh, often as 845 service and 11 o'clock service and uh, today we are one service one. Uh, so the folks that you see, many of them might be part of your church that you haven't seen in a while. Uh, we just come at different times. We welcome all of you uh, to this place and pray that the Holy Spirit would speak through the music and all the care and investment that so many have put into uh, this beautiful service. Um, just two quick things to let you know about and invite you to. First, this afternoon, uh, we are going Christmas caroling, weather permitting, and it looks like, I know, isn't that awesome? It looks like the weather is going to permit, uh, so we're meeting at the church at 3.30 and going to see some of our less mobile members uh, uh, driving around and singing Christmas carols to them. There's also going to be a caroling event at 7 o'clock on Tuesday. So uh, come and sing. We'll stay outside on porches and whatnot. Um, and uh, so you're invited to be a part of that. Also, we invite you, of course, to our Christmas Eve service, which is at five o'clock uh, on Christmas Eve. Um, and so I hope that you will consider coming to that candlelight service with communion. Uh, what a, a beautiful evening that is and a powerful uh, telling of the story of Jesus' birth. Um, just two quick prayer requests. We are, the whole service is a prayer in song. And uh, so we ask your prayers for the family of Panthea Daniel. Her body was laid to rest this past week. So especially for Charlie, his wife Betty, and uh, uh, Panthea's daughter Edna, as they are in their time of grief. Also, uh, we would ask your prayers for Mike Miller, uh, who uh, was hospitalized uh, just a day before yesterday, and they're looking into some heart issues for him. So uh, please be in prayer for Mike. And now I uh, invite us to pray together, uh, you to listen and pray in your heart with this traditional prayer called the bidding prayer. Let us pray. Beloved in Christ, as we await the great festival of Christmas, let us prepare ourselves so that we may be shown its true meaning. Let us hear in lessons from Holy Scripture how the prophets of Israel foretold that God would visit and redeem the waiting people. Let us rejoice in our carols and hymns that the good purpose of God is being mightily fulfilled. Let us celebrate the promise that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will bring all peoples and all things into the glory of God's eternal kingdom, where the blind receive their sight, and the lame will walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. But first, let us pray for the world that God so loves, for those who have not heard the good news of God or who do not believe it, for those who walk in darkness and the shadow of death, and for the church in this place and everywhere, that it may be freed from all evil and fear, and may in pure joy lift up the light of the love of God. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer to God. And all God's people said, Amen. We welcome this morning, in a few minutes, uh, they'll come to take their place uh, uh, to light the Advent candles. Uh, this is the Sandy family, Eric and Betsy, with little Gracie and Lily, and we're so glad that they can be with us. They're some of our newest members and our newest baptized members. We're so happy uh, to have them be a part of our family. Um, we continue with our worship now. Please stand, congregation, as we sing our first carol, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear.
join me in our uh, liturgy of the Advent wreath printed in your bulletin. Advent is a time to let go of anger and fear. God of love, fill our hearts with true compassion. Advent is a time to look for the best in others. God of love, help us to speak with kindness. Advent is a time to share with those in need. God of love, remind us that in giving we will see. Advent is a time to notice and appreciate the good around us. God of love, help us see the world through loving eyes. Today we light four candles, the candles of hope, peace, joy, and the candle representing love. This candle is a symbol of Christ's eternal love for us, as well as a reminder that we have been instructed to love others as we love ourselves. Because God is love, and because we were created in God's image, we ourselves are the embodiment of God's love here on earth. Love is patient and kind and powerful, and we all share the calling to go into the world and spread that love to others.
In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. We invite you now to stand and join our voices together as we sing, Lo, How a Rose Air Blooming, number 216. is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin 
will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us.
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in swaddling cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time that the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard from the king, they went their way. And the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. Please stand as you are able and join in the singing of We Free Kings, number 254. <laughs> Please be seated.
reading from 1 John, from John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness to the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth.
invite the congregation to stand as we join in our congregational carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. It's number 240.
Say something. Say something. How can I top that? We thank everyone, the, what seems like hundreds of people that uh, put so much work and effort into this. Praise God. And they did it for the love of Jesus Christ, our Savior. But they also did it for the love of you and for our community. So I hope that you will take some of the joy that has been lovingly gifted to you and your hearts and take that into the world, sharing it with all those that you come in contact with. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, hopefully we will see you later this week for Christmas Eve and um, uh, go in peace.